Okay, so um, we have two images here. We have an infrared image and a visible image. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to combine these images uh, in what's called a uh, normalized differential vegetation index. If you want, you can go to the uh, website uh, publiclaboratory.org and we're generating what is kind of like a heat map of photosynthesis. Uh, that means that the, 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 the hottest colors correspond to uh, very healthy vegetation that's photosynthesizing. So this is what the NDVI uh, kind of equation is. Um, what you want is to take uh, your near-infrared image and your red, green, and blue Im image, which could also be called uh, your visible image, and then do this, do a little bit of math with it. Um, so this is run on every single pixel of, um, of, of the image. So here's our two images. I've opened them up in, uh, in GIMP, which is an open source uh, uh, graphics package is very similar to Photoshop, um, and I've laid one on top of the other. There's another tutorial uh, that uh, that we've released which shows you how to align these images, but I'm going to skip that for now and just go on to the uh, the compositing. So if you want to learn more about that, check out publiclaboratory.org. Um, so you have these two. The first thing we're going to do is actually, uh, well, first we'll name them uh, NIR. That stands for near infrared, and this is viz. Uh, you could also call this RGB if you wanted. Um, I'm actually going to copy both of these uh, and call these the backups. Oops. Uh, I like to do this just because uh, you never know what, what's going to happen. You know, you're kind of fiddling around with this stuff and uh, you, might, you might delete something. So uh, just hold on to those. Uh, these this purplish color, just is because this camera is not really designed to do infrared, it was a modified point-and-shoot camera. Um, so we can just desaturate that, and we just have one channel of data. And the truth is, um, you can actually do that for the visible light as well, because in this type of composite or this type of uh, you know analysis, we're not using the color data; we're just using the overall brightness data. Data. So here we go. And. Um, let's see, this is what we're going to do. Uh, these have already been auto-exposed because the camera selected an exposure. So to do this really, really properly, we would want to um, uh, to run um, auto, uh, you know, or sorry, to do some uh, calibration, you know, exposure calibration. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to uh, run an auto um, exposure here. And that's just going to allow us to bring out a bit more of the... Um, the, the detail. Uh, GIMP works pretty much just like Photoshop. Um, uh, some of the tools are in different places, but that's about it. Um, so, all right, we have these two layers now. All right, I'm going to duplicate them again. I know this seems a little odd, but um, what we need is to kind of create uh, this, um, this ratio. The ratio is, you know, the numerator uh, and, and a denominator. So on the top, I'm going to call this um, NIR top. We actually need, well, all right, so start with the bottom. The bottom, we just need to add these together. That's pretty easy. So I'll turn off these two. And then this, I'm just going to choose a new mode, and I'm going to choose uh, addition. This is the two added together. It's kind of a maximum. Um, and then I'm actually going to merge them. Uh, you do this by going to the layer menu and choosing merge down. If you don't merge them, then actually they're going to be continuously doing that 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 uh, that blend mode, and your your layers might start to mix together a bit. So now we have uh, what we will call viz, what we'll call nir plus viz, which is of course uh, you know this this denominator here. Now we want to do the numerator. This is a little harder because subtraction is, is is you know order dependent. So we actually want to subtract visible from the near infrared. The way to do this is actually to drag it above the uh, near infrared and then choose subtract. Um, this is, um, I know this is kind of counterintuitive. Oops, I'll turn these layers on so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Uh, and a couple things happen. First of all, uh, it is subtracting, but in areas where there's no data, it's actually just getting kind of nonsense data. Um, so what's helpful at this point in, in GIMP is to actually create a new layer um, called background and to place this at the back here. That kind of gets rid of your extra nonsense. And then up here, so we have this subtraction going, 
And then I'm going to actually, as we did in the other one, uh, I'm going to merge down. And uh, I'll rename this NAR minus viz. So now we have our, our numerator and our denominator, and we need to actually divide them. So once again, I'm going to do this, bring this above the other, and choose a different mode. I'm going to choose the divide mode. So it should divide that top data by the bottom data. Um, so here we are. And uh, we can once again uh, merge if we want. Uh, you can keep these two layers. You can back them up separately if you want. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead with this. And then you see we have uh, quite a bit of activity. So uh, you know, one thing that we can do though is actually to you know we have we have values from uh, from zero to 100 uh, percent all through here because it's a ratio. But what I've done is actually I've chosen two colors here. This is the uh, magenta, pure magenta, um, you know, hex notation FF00FF, and then pure red, or FF0000. You can use, just choose these in the color picker if you want, but um, I just thought it's useful to have the exact codes. And then this is, um, this is kind of an interesting thing. I, I'm going to copy this here, and I'm going to hide the old one, and I'm going to call this false color. Oops. And uh, what I'm going to do is, you notice that these gradients are auto-generated from the uh, colors we have here. You might have to click over to the gradient menu. Uh, and this one right here is, rain is a rainbow, all the way from magenta to red. It's going through all the colors that's, that are between those two colors in the spectrum. And then what I'm going to do is go to Colors, Map, and Gradient Map. And it's going to assign each of the values in black and white to a range along this gradient and then we're going to be able to see a lot more of the finer details. Um, there you go. So the reddest should be the highest rate of photosynthesis, uh, the hottest, and then the magenta is the coolest or the lowest rate. Um, this little blip here, the shadow, or this little uh, hot spot, um, I know it's a little odd, but that's actually the shadow of the balloon that was used to take this image. So that's, that's just what you're seeing there. So here we are. Um, this is the regular NDVI uh, in grayscale, uh, and if you zoom in, you can see that there's really quite a bit of uh, detail here. Um, and, uh, and the false color. There we are. I'll zoom in there as well. Um, so uh, that's about it. Um, if you want to know more, there's uh, information at publiclaboratory.org. And we'd be happy to answer any questions in the comments. Um, so um, enjoy.